Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocats. In today's video, we will learn about the trigger action and uh, time trigger action in uh, uh, GOT that is your Mitsubishi HMI. So let's get started. Next, next, finish. So first of all, we will use time action. So for time action, you have uh, two settings that is start time and end time basically so you can use bit or word uh, like uh, if you set here 20 58 or 59 0 20 59 and uh, 50 or you can use 32 also and let's select the days so if you want a particular day uh, operation at particular days you can also set use accordingly according to your need so in the action part we have two options that is bit and word i am using m0 here and uh, you let you d11 and the start value 1 and then value 2 so basically when the start time is lapsed means uh, when your actual time is uh, exceeding the start time the value will be 1 in this uh, d11 register also m0 will be true and m0 will be uh, true until the end value or end uh, time is uh, lapsed means uh, when your end time is uh, reached to the value then it will be uh, m0 will turn off and the value Two will be there in D11 register. So let's click OK. Also, we are using external uh, enable external com control. That means if you want to write uh, the time from the uh, data words, may, it might it can also be from uh, PLC or from the your uh, uh, HMI uh, words. So both the words can be used. So I am using like D0 here and I click OK now let's make one lamp that is our M0 as we mentioned there and uh, some numeric inputs that are related to functionality like D1 let's copy paste this and D2 what is d1 and d2 so i mentioned d0 there at the setting so d0 means the setting number device that can be set from 1 to 32 now then we have d1 that is your external control signal and the d2 is your external control status then we have mode then we have start day of week then we have starting hours minutes seconds hours second minutes seconds for end time so that includes 2 d10 from D5 to D10, we have the start time and uh, time settings. So that is in BCD format. So let's write that also. This is your starting hour. That is D5. That is in BCD. So BCD is a string. Copy paste again. It will be your D6. Then again, copy paste uh, D7. That is your seconds for start time and copy paste all the two for the sorry. Yes, now this is your end time hour eight nine and ten. Uh, Sig one more that is your D11 that is for. Uh, action so let's see uh, how it works let's activate the simulator at present the time is 2100 so let's write accordingly 21 0 let's make this 40 now once the setting is done click here and enter 2 
was too easier and I click on one okay but already our m0 is on so let's see whether it turn off at 50 or not till then we can also change the setting like uh, one here so at 50 the m0 is off and the value of d11 is 2 so again let's write this to 2 once this is 2 now let's see if i write uh, here 12 due to some issue i have turned the simulation off and now again now 14 here Mm -hmm. and then I 14 14 again here and turn this control bit to 2 once the notification is 2 again switch the control to 1 now let's see at 14 40 what happens let's again change this to 5 then 2 then again 1 now at 14 10 14 5 m2 will turn on and at 50 seconds that m1 will uh, sorry m2 will turn off so at 5 m1 turns on and the value in d11 is 1 now when the value is equal to the end time this m0 will turn off and the value in d11 will turn to 2 so it is uh, mandatory to uh, set the control to 2 if you are changing the setting here now let's wait till 50 then we will move to the trigger action part okay, 45, 47, 48, 49 and 50 see the m0 is off and the uh, value in d11 is 2 now let's move to the trigger action sorry time action trigger action so we will write d2 point bit 0 bit 1 sorry when this bit is on that means when the value in d2 is 2 the action we require is we want to change the value in d1 to 1 so let's fix here and 1 was ok now when ok now click ok and ok and now again we will write the simulation from date now the well actual time is 2115 so let's use 16 here Oops, sorry 16 30 16 50 21 21 make this 2 see automatically is getting done to 1 so we have used the trigger action now and the uh, actual time is 25 9 30 see how bit m0 is on and the value in d11 is 1 now so by doing the trigger action we have actually uh, automatically turned uh, this d1 value to 1 when our value in d2 is already 2 so by doing so you can control the uh, trigger action also you can write another trigger action which you require to uh, you know if you want to uh, turn some bits on or off so you can use the trigger action so that's all in this video if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you